it was a team effort and it involved a lot of people to make this project very successful. Uh, perhaps foremost was Judge Arcaro. We worked uh, a decade together, uh, maybe a decade and a half together, uh, and it was a roller coaster ride. And I think we complemented each other in terms of our focus and our determination in playing maybe the good guy, bad guy, uh, in our approach to achieving this building, which we think really stands out as part of the GSA's Design Excellence Program. We tried to dialogue with our architect to make sure that the building, in essence, did two things. One of which was respect the dignity of City Hall because it plays such a prominent part on Niagara Square. And secondly, we wanted a building that truly reflected the transparency that we think is so critical to what the third branch of government is all about. The administration of justice should be transparent. You should know what it's about. You should see everything that's going on about the justice system. And we think that this building, to a T, represents that. This building is a different building. We wanted it to do something different. We wanted it to represent a bridge from that solid foundation of architecture that we have in the city of Buffalo and we wanted it to represent where we hope the city and everything about the city including the administration of justice will go in the future and that's why we looked forward to designing a contemporary building for a national historic district a little bit different maybe uh, but we think that it accomplished uh, tying in the past with the future and represents where Buffalo can go if everybody works together. So the original plan was to build an annex across the street from the present courthouse. Then, unfortunately, uh, Oklahoma bombing uh, happened. When that happened, new restrictions came out about security uh, lines and, and uh, how much space between the streets and the, and, and, uh, and, and the building. So we couldn't do it. So in a way, uh, we had an opportunity to build another, actually, a courthouse from scratch. Now, how, where do you pick it? That was, uh, we, uh, by the way, the process was long. It's all taken for 15 years. So we had to pick the site, and we went to about five or six different uh, locations in Buffalo. We ultimately opted for this site. Here you have a pie-shaped parcel of land that's on a circle uh, that's called a square, okay? And how do you design that? So when we picked the architect, that took a long time. We had about 37 firms that, uh, that wanted uh, the uh, they bid on it. Uh, we reduced it to five. We interviewed the five firms. Uh, we selected KPF out of New York. Uh, Bill Pedersen was the lead architect. And I remember telling him, I said, Bill, how are you gonna build a building on that weird shaped parcel of land? He says, it's gonna be a challenge. I feel that this building is a result of having such wonderful clients who really were determined to create the best thing they possibly could. And they didn't really know what it was because they, that's what they wanted us for. And it was that dialogue that enabled this building to take place and I for me it, I, I have to rate it as one of the finest things I've ever been involved in from every perspective. We wanted the judicial process to appear to the citizens walking around this building that it's an open process. You can look into this building, you can see into this building, you can see the people inhabiting the building and as a result you feel it invites you in. It's not something that is forbidding, it's something that is receptive. We want to think about this building as how you go about doing something right. Not only with the construction and design of the building, but that's what our country should be about. And that's what the administration of justice is all about. That's doing things the right way, in transparency, respecting and respectful of the Constitution of the United States. And that's one of the reasons why we had etched in the wall of the pavilion the 
4,543 words of the United States Constitution. I can say this with total confidence that within the budget we had, with the materials that we used, this is as nice of a courthouse as could possibly have been built.